Welcome back everybody. Today we're checking out the Carbon V3, a 100 watt all tube three channel amplifier with some very interesting features. Let's do it. The V3 is very much a child of the mid 2000s when everybody was trying to cram as many features into their amplifiers as possible. And the V3 is no exception. You have three channels, each with their independent tone controls, independent volume and gain per channel, as well as a three-way mode switch. Channel one and two are exactly the same though, which I always thought was cool because you could set up channel one exactly the same as channel two, just a little bit louder and a little bit dirtier. And that always worked pretty well in a live context. And then channel three is the clean channel. I thought that was another interesting choice by Carbon. They kind of went, you know what? People are going to buy this amp because they want high gain. So let's have it to default to start on channel one, the high gain channel. So kind of clever there. And then over here, you've got a master section with a master active EQ that's labeled bright, mid cut and deep. So that's kind of like your overall tone shaping control, like your mastering EQ. On the back, you've got two effects loops, a series loop and a parallel loop. And there's two little switches here with these uh, smart effects loops so that if you assign them to whatever channel you want, the amp would remember it. It also has MIDI switching as well as a 100 watt or a 50 watt mode, and you can run EL34s or 6L6s in it. So lots and lots of features. Let's hear this thing. Oh, and there's also this EQX feature, which I never understood how it worked. So maybe over the course of this video, I'll kind of dial it in and finally figure it out. I'm playing my PRS McCarty, which has some Fishman Fluence Classic humbuckers in it. And I've actually, uh, for people who watch the channel a lot, I rewired the switch so that down on the switch is the bridge pickup, the kind of traditional configuration. So this is with all the knobs in the middle on channel one, and I have the three-way switch down on the thick mode. Carbon, back in the day, advertised this as a kind of JCM 800 style mode. So let's just play with it and dial it in. <laughs> So it's kind of martially, it sounds a lot smoother to my ears. That is with the mid-range absolutely crank. There is a presence control on this channel, so I'll turn that down and then turn it all the way up. <laughs> That's interesting, that's with the drive quite low. I don't mind that with the mids cranked all the way up. We'll come to the EQX switch in a second, but with that as a kind of core rock and roll sort of tone, I'll just flick through the three modes. So it's thick, center, and then intense. <laughs> That's cool. I remember I do have the mid-range cranked here. Uh, so that feels decent enough. It kind of feels like on the intense mode, I've just put a like a boost pedal in front of the thick mode, which is kind of nice. It's not like a total departure from what you had dialed in. What I'm going to do next is use these active controls over here to kind of fine tune it. And I'm going to start with that deep control to add a bit more oomph to the tone. <laughs>
Next, I'll put a bit of the mid cut in there just to kind of take some of the honk out. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I think this is almost, I'm imagining like a Mesa style five band EQ here, where as you pull the mid cut out, it gives you that V. And then we've got the bright control. Let's uh, turn that all the way up and see how bright it really gets. <laughs> Interesting, very, very interesting. Uh, the bright control is basically a fizz control as I expected. So this is with the gain, where is the gain? It's only at about two or three. Let's uh, just bring it up and see how saturated it can get. <laughs> You know, with the gain at about noon, that's probably overkill, more gain than I would personally ever need. I mean, we could go back to say the center mode and hear that. It's interesting, there is kind of like a little tubbiness that uh, I feel like I can't dial out, but let's hear EQX. I never understood what this does, but I'm gonna play around with it and I'm gonna give it a shot. So this is what it does to what I've dialed in so far. <laughs> That's not too bad. It feels a lot tighter, which I like. Uh, maybe EQX like moves the tone stack location or something like that. I don't know if anybody actually knows what it does, please let me know uh, because it's always just uh, been a mystery to me as to what it does on there. But I find with that, because adding so much mid range, it lets you actually get a bit more kind of use out of that mid cut control in there. I'm on the intense mode. I think I like intense and thick. The center mode doesn't do a whole lot for me, but uh, maybe if I wanted sort of like a lead thing and I pull the mid range up and I go on intense and uh, stay on intense, I should say, we get this. <laughs> 
done here what did i do i turned bright down and i turned presence up and this is probably the coolest sound out of this it's uh you know this might be really cool if i had a seven or an eight string because that kind of sounds like it'd be nice for that kind of genty <laughs> I like that. I actually like that a lot. Uh, how much drive can I get out of it? Maybe it'll sound cool on the neck pickup as well. Oh, I should pull up the voice mode on the fluences as well. <laughs> feels kind of cool that's how would i describe that uh you know talking about guitar tone is kind of about as useful as talking about food if you're not experiencing it it doesn't make a lot of sense but it doesn't feel like a mark series it doesn't feel like a rectifier or a 5150 it does have its own thing going on but it's almost like in that weird zone between a mark and a rectifier it's kind of messa ish that's the only way i can describe it and that is with the mid cut and the deep boosted so quite close to 10, bright rolled back, and I'm using the presence control with the EQX on. This is uh, probably my favorite sound that I've got out of this thing. Very interesting. I'm glad I hit record on this then. <laughs> Cool. Let's hear the clean channel really, really quickly. I've got the little toggle here, and this has three modes called... What are they called? Bright, center, and spongy. I think the spongy is probably a tweed style thing. Uh, where have I got it at the moment? Well, that's just absolutely rubbish. I'm going to dial this in real quick, and we will be right back. I lied before. It's not spongy. It's soak. And with the drive control up on Soak, it's pretty cool. It's a really nice, gritty edge of breakup thing. Playing softly. kind of cool. Let's hear the bright channel with the same settings.
somebody hooning down the street, as you can hear. I like the way that's falling apart. This is actually really, really cool. I'll go back to the soak mode with this. Playing Credence in drop C sharp, it is what it is. That's cool. I really, really like that. Uh, I haven't tried a pristine clean sound on it yet, but I'm not a huge pristine clean sound guy. I like a bit of grit on there, and this with the drive all the way up is pretty surprising. <laughs> I'll turn the gain down. This is probably my favorite sound out of the amp so far, to be honest. Turn the gain down. Let's go to the bright channel. I'll just compensate with a bit of volume. I don't know where I've got the EQ set. Uh, mids up, bass down, treble up, presence down. That's kind of the vibe, uh, but I like it. <laughs> like 17 years old again, playing every high gain amp in a music shop. And they're telling me, you know, bro, it's got a clean channel as well. The clean channel's really sick because it's really clean. And then it sounds like this. It's like, wow, can we put it back on distortion again? Because I don't really want to hear that clean sound again. <laughs> So yeah, the, the whole pristineness. I mean, I know I'm playing a humbucker or a quick guitar in drop C. It's not really a pristine thing. I should get a strap, but uh, yeah, that's a bit of a nothing kind of sound. Let's hit a center mode. Even more of a nothing kind of sound. Let's hear so. A little bit better, at least there's a bit of grit and character, but I think, I think you need to add a bit of drive. Rolling off the volume, I think, sounds a little bit better than just using the clean channel. All right, there's a Carbon V3. It is what it is. There's some pretty interesting sounds in there. And, you know, MIDI switching, I didn't get to show off. The effects loops are really, really clever. This could be a surprising little blues machine if you can get one for a decent price. It could be a hidden secret gent machine as well, like chuck a tube screamer or a graphic EQ in front of that. Uh, let's just revisit that setting again. Where was I on the intense mode? And it's EQX on. It's kind of got a bit of a thing going on. <laughs> can kind of do those kind of thicker character tones in there as well. I still don't know what to think about this amp. Like I said, I think it's just very much a product of the times, uh, but there's definitely some good tones in there. And I know a bunch of you guys out there probably own one of these and probably use it. So let me know about what you think about the Carbon V3. I know I only use one guitar with this, but this guitar is kind of my all rounder guitar and it does a bunch of things. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.